Yo, if there was ever a way to go out in a blaze of glory by staying on top, this would be the way to do it. What's good, Camp Crew? It's your homeboy, Camp Quarter Banks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you are interested in things such as streetwear, sneaker content, and men's wear fashion, you came to the right spot. Now, today we are talking about the Travis Scott and Nike Air Jordan collab. Now, sources say that this is his last Air Jordan 1 that he is creating. Now, if I'm keeping it a buck with you, I do not own one Air Jordan 1 low. I didn't have an eye for him until now. The design, the setup, the silhouette is actually pretty cool, but I also like the design and setup with the play of the different material and a color palette. Now, just to give y'all some quick detail, this is due to drop on March 25th. Well, it's anticipated to drop on March 25th. We don't have any any additional sources as far as how much it's gonna cost, but I can tell you I'm pretty sure it's gonna be priced. Now, if we're looking at what the release is gonna be, it's gonna be for women, preschool sizes, and infant and toddler sizes. So for anybody that's in that big ass feed squad, I'm sorry, I doubt that we'll even get the opportunity to wear one of these. But still again, this is a fire design. Now we starting off on the outer sole, you'll see that they have that olive green that we have on here, which is a versatile color because you can wear with anything that you pretty much want to, especially when it comes to a lot of people that's very stylish in this case. Now, if you get up to the mid sole, you'll see that they have that yellowish sail color. But once we get up to the upper, that's when we start to play with color and material, which I actually think is fire. Now looking at the upper, we'll see that we have this premium white smooth leather that's on here. I think that was a great idea instead of going with tumble leather or pebble leather or anything like that, it would have just destroyed the sneaker. But having this smooth white leather on here was a fire idea. Now, if we're looking at this swoosh on here, this is his signature swoosh, which is reversed. And I actually think that this is cool because it got that suede olive green that's on here. It gives you some level and some layers when it comes to contrast and playing with different colors of neutral color. And looking at the black on here, we'll have the suede that's on here. I think that's absolutely fire because it makes it look flatter and it makes the color darker having that black suede that's on here. Luckily, they didn't make it like a dark, rough suede because it would have destroyed the look. But this image on here with this smooth suede that's on here, this soft, smooth suede, made the shoe come out completely fire. Now, on here, you'll also see splashes of red, which is that Nike logo that's on the tongue. You'll also see the logo that's on the back of the heel. You'll see his logo, Travis Scott's logo that's on the back on the left-hand side. And then on the right heel, you'll also see that Jordan, that Air Jordan sign that's in red as well. Now, looking on the inside of the sole, of course, you'll see there's more attention to detail when it comes to their sole because it's always like this. It's pretty fire. Now, also like the heel that's on the back, you'll see that it looks like it's a little exaggerated. It more of a tab. that It looks like a tab on the back or like a flap on the back. I think that's absolutely dope. I think it grabs your attention as well. So together, all together, this is a full, well thought out, put together sneaker. I think this is the perfect way to actually go out on top without doing the most and then failing. Now, for those people that don't like Air Jordan 1 lows like me, I'm pretty sure that this probably will grab your attention. If it haven't, eh, okay. But in this case, for me, I think this really did grab my attention. It was capitalized with the style put together for people that's more so in fashion and style. And at the same time, this is something for the sneaker culture as well. So great job to Travis Scott, man. Shout out to him. Again, there is no price that's given just yet, but I'll keep y'all updated. In addition to that, we will have it dropping on March 25th and it's going to be dropping in women's infant and toddlers and preschool sizes. So with that being said, man, drop those comments down below. Ladies, I'm really trying to hear your voice too. Fellas, go ahead, drop that comment down below. Let me know if y'all really feeling it. Is this design like his last hurrah? Do y'all think that this is the right way he did it? Drop those comments down below and let me know what's up. All right. Now with that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Until next time, I'll catch up with y'all. Y'all already know it's your homeboy Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.